When I bought my land, I just signed a piece of paper that the neighborhood authority later regularized. But now I'm concerned about the value of this little piece of paper. I'm afraid that dishonest people can come and take my land. So I don't want to take the risk of developing my land. There have been land titles in Madagascar for 115 years now. The country has around 10 million plots of land, but only 500,000 of them have been registered. At the current rate of around 4,000 land titles per year, it would take another 2,000 years to cover all the plots of land in Madagascar. Aware of this land insecurity, the Malagashi government therefore decided to transform its land policy by launching a particularly innovative reform. This reform aims to secure the rights of all Malagashi citizens on their owning land. Until 2005, all the untitled lands fell under the state property according to the principle of presumption of state ownership that was established during colonial era. With this reform, untitled lands that have been developed are presumed to belong to the occupants. It is now up to the municipalities to manage land security procedures regarding these privately owned untitled lands. With this in view, local land offices are set up within the municipalities themselves and do not deliver land titles but issue land certificates. The land certificate is now a new document that makes a property right official. After eight years of land reform implementation, the outcomes of the decentralized land management system are significant. 546 municipal land offices were created for a total of 1,542 municipalities in Madagascar, and over 100,000 land certificates have been issued. However, with the current method of securing land on demand, the issuance rate is of 40 to 300 land certificates per year and per municipality. This is an obvious but insufficient step forward. At this rate, if a municipality has around 15,000 plots of land, it will take 50 more years to certify all the plots and have all the land data of this municipality. This observation led the Madagashi government, through the National Land Program, to design a new strategy that combines property tax and land tenure. These operations aim to increase the revenue of the municipal property tax through a systematic identification of plots. They also offer land certificates at very low prices through a combination of procedures. Pilot operations were therefore carried out in 2012 in five municipalities around Antanarive, with the support of the World Bank and of the French Cooperation. In the field, the locally recruited census taker identifies each plot with its users and delimits it within the mapping software. When the information on each taxpayer and each plot are recorded, the users can ask for a land certificate. The price of this land certificate is greatly reduced due to the massive and collective new methodology. With this new method, all the plots within a municipality can be identified in a few months. In 115 years, the residents of these five pilot municipalities were only able to obtain a few dozen titles. Hundreds of plots of lands have been certified within the three years the municipal land offices have been installed. With the pilot operations, in seven months, the five municipalities have established several thousands of land certificates. After the census, we now know that there are 17,000 plots in the municipality and 7,000 have already been certified. The land certificate will make it possible to develop our country as Malagasy farmers. The land certificate will make it possible to develop our country.